another Kevin Spacey accuser comes forward, claiming he suffered PTSD after being groped by the actor in an L.A. pub. Kevin Spacey has been hit with further accusations of sexual harassment, with filmmaker and director Tony Montana claiming the House of Cards star groped him in a pub, leaving him with post-traumatic stress disorder. According to Tony, he was at the Coronet Pub in Los Angeles in 2003, when Spacey walked in and grabbed his crotch. He told Radar Online, I went up to order a drink and Kevin came up to me and put his arm around me. He was telling me to come with him, to leave the bar. He put his hand on my crotch forcefully and grabbed my whole package. Adding that the 58-year-old actor seemed to be drunk, he claims Spacey told him the gesture, designates ownership, prompting Tony to turn his thumb back to get his hand away. Tony, who was in his 30s at the time, said he paid for his drink and walked away, but claims Spacey followed him to the toilets. He continued. I backed him out of the door and I pushed him. One of his friends was in line and I said, it's time to take your boy home. They all ended up leaving. And despite never seeing Spacey again, he told the website that he was so traumatized that he suffered PTSD for six months after the alleged incident. But he says he decided to finally speak out after Star Trek actor Anthony Rapp went public with his own claims against Spacey. Tony said. I never talked to anyone about it except for therapists. It was an emasculating thing for someone to do to me. It still feels awkward. I still feel what I felt then. I put it into the back of my mind until I saw him come forward. Mirror Online has contacted Spacey's reps for comment. In relation to Anthony Rapp, the 58-year-old said he had no memory of the alleged event but that if he did make a sexual advance toward the actor when he was just 14, he sincerely apologized. Spacey said he was examining his behavior in a statement in response, but he also admitted that there are stories out there about me. The statement read, I know that there are stories out there about me and that some have been fueled by the fact that I have been so protective of my privacy. He also took the opportunity to confirm he had experienced relationships with both men and women, and now chooses to live as a gay man. As those closest to me know, in my life I have had relationships with both men and women. I have loved and had romantic encounters with men throughout my life, and I choose now to live as a gay man," he added. I want to deal with this honestly and openly and that starts with examining my own behavior. And some fans took the wording in his statement to mean that he thinks there are more victims out there. Waiting for Kevin Spacey victims to come pouring from the woodwork now, one person tweeted. In an interview with BuzzFeed News, Star Trek star Rapp said he attended a party on his own in 1986 after befriending Oscar winner Spacey and was the only underage person there. Becoming bored, Rapp went into a bedroom and watched TV until after midnight, when he realized no one else was left in the apartment. At that point, Rapp alleges that Spacey entered the bedroom, picked him up, and climbed on top of him in a sexual advance. Spacey would have been 26 at the time. Rapp said he was prompted by the Harvey Weinstein scandal to speak out, after watching numerous women come forward with allegations of their own. And not to simply air a grievance, he said, but to try to shine another light on the decades of behavior that have been allowed to continue because many people, including myself, being silent, I'm feeling really awake to the moment that we're living in and I'm hopeful that this can make a difference.